So hello guys, and welcome to another episode of Question Block. In last week, the question was, what is your favorite new enemy in Super Mario Bros. Wonder? So there's quite a lot of new enemies in Super Mario Bros. Wonder with really cool and creative ideas. There's actually more new enemies than most Mario games, especially modern Mario games, since there seems to be over 60 to 70 new enemies, including the variations. The variations are also really unique as well. So, without further ado, let's read through some of the responses here. So, Pecknet97 said, I absolutely love Mamas. They're so cute, even if they're trying to devour you. And also, the door mimics in the new ghost house levels really fit the atmosphere. Yeah. I really like the Mamas. Their design, like you said, is pretty cute, and it kind of reminds me of like a mixture between a Pokemon and a Pikmin enemy. They kind of like have that similar vibe to them. There's like that one um, new enemy in Pikmin 4 um, that has like the gold plate things on its back. It kind of has a similar vibe to that. I forgot the name of it, but um, similar vibes there. And... I think the mechanic is pretty cool where they just um gape open their mouths like to like where they can basically eat anything in their path like and you all, you also kind of have to hide from them um and avoid them when you're like doing one of the wonder effects where you like basically turn into a goomba i think that's pretty cool but the mamas are really cool and i, I it's definitely one of my favorite enemies in wonder and then the door mimic things are also really cool as well, since they kind of expand upon that concept of, like, fake doors in Mario games. I know the new Super Mario Bros. games had a lot of those in Ghost Houses, and then I'm sure, like, there's a couple instances of the 3D Mario games doing that as well. But those door enemies are pretty cool, and I like the way that you defeat them as well. You basically, like, ground pound on them and actually go through the door to defeat them. I think that's pretty cool, and they're definitely pretty fitting for the ghost houses, as well as, like, kind of fitting into that theming of being, like, really unique and with Super Mario Bros. Wonder and everything. So, yeah. So, Nux333 said, Bull Rushes are pretty cool new enemies because they're one of those enemies that are perfect to theme multiple levels around, and Mario Wonder does a great job at utilizing them. Yeah, I, I think they're really cool, and basically, like, in some of the levels that they're utilized in, you can actually use them to break through certain blocks and everything, and actually kind of allows you to kind of just not just rush through the level, it actually kind of allows you to, like, think about, like, how the bull rushes work and kind of um, almost do, like, little puzzles to try to, like, unlock some of the things. And then the wonder effects involved with them are pretty cool as well, kind of how they cause, like, a stampede and, like, unlock a secret exit on one of the levels. And I think it's pretty cool. And it's almost kind of like a fast version of, like, the giant wiggler in new super mario bros ds i'm sure there's like other things that have a similar concept to that as well but i kind of like that concept of basically kind of like platforming on top of certain enemies but yeah so neat clone said missile megs i love the running gag of different types of ammo and giving all of them names bullet bill torpedo ted and now missile meg <laughs> yeah I think Missile Meg is a pretty cool name. Um, some people thought they were it was going to be called Missile Mike or like something related to rockets at first. I think um, another comment that I didn't read said um, Rocket Rex. Um, that's another cool name. But um, Missile Megs is a pretty good name as well. Um, the first thought when I saw that they were called Missile Megs was um, Meg from Family Guy. <laughs> that was like my first thought when I saw that, and I'm sure a lot of people felt the same way as well. Um, but it's a pretty cool name, and I think it's pretty cool that um, how they work and everything. And I like how you could ride on top of them in one of the levels in the game with the wonder effect and everything. I just, it's really cool. Definitely another one of my favorites. So, Sushi said, Easily the Revers, they're so cute. 
Yeah, I, I really like how the Revers look as well. They kind of have a design that's kind of similar to, like, Booth a Chain Chomp in Dry Bones. And they also kind of have, like, a wheel on them as well. So they're pretty unique and have a cool concept. And the levels that they're utilized in is also really cool as well. They kind of definitely make use of their mechanic and everything and kind of, um are placed in certain areas where you'll actually utilize them. So they're really cool and their design is just really cute as well, since I love both Dry Bones and Chain Chomps. So the dude Sama said, those little firecracker dudes from the first airship level, yeah, I think those are really cool as well. Like they're kind of like the bombs a little bit, like with how they look and everything with the eyes. And also, like, just the general design, but they're also kind of, like, have a unique shape to them where they kind of look more like a firework. Um, some people thought they looked like batteries. Um, I could definitely see the resemblance to that. But they also look like a syringical, um, firework type thing as well. But I think it's cool how you can kind of, like, blast through certain, um, objects and things. And they were utilized pretty well in that first airship level. But, yeah... So, Golden Prince 2004 said, Skedaddlers, they're neat, I guess. Yeah, I think the sk Skedaddlers are pretty cool, um, since they actually have a design somewhat similar to, like, Rocky Wrenches, um, where they have, like, a shell, but they're also kind of, like, mammalian in design as well, kind of similar to, like, a rodent. Um, so, I think that's pretty cool, um, like, how they utilize the Skedaddlers in, like, it's funny how they like run away with different things as well so they're definitely a pretty cool enemy so Demich said the potted snakes and yeah i think the potted snakes are also really cool their design actually kind of reminds me of the unused enemy from paper mario sticker star the manders but they're um a different color and their mechanic is pretty cool like how there's like a bunch of like pots um, laying around on one of the desert levels, and then some of them have, like, the, um, snakes inside of them, so it's, it's pretty cool, and I really like how they were utilized and everything, and, yeah, I, I just really like those enemies that sometimes are a little tough when you come across it at first compared to, like, other enemies where you just, like, hit once and then they're killed. So it, it's cool to see, like, some enemies that have, like, a little more depth to them. I guess that, like, a lot of the enemies here kind of have a little more depth to them than, like, most normal Mario enemies. But I really like how the um, snakes were utilized here, and their design is pretty cool as well. So EB, the original master, said, the, my, my favorite new enemy in Super Mario Bros. Wonder are the Outmaways, only because their name is ridiculous, funny, and creative. Yeah, the Outmaways, that, that's a pretty funny name, um, <laughs> and it's definitely pretty iconic. But their mechanic is actually pretty cool, since they actually, like, kick back shells or other objects that are kind of going towards them. They're kind of similar to, like, some of the beached Koopas in Super Mario World, but kind of like an expanded concept of that. Like, a lot of the time, um, they take out certain enemies in Mario games. Like, you'd think that, like, throw a shell, but with these, like, sometimes it can be unexpected if you're, like, first playing the game or kind of forget that they do that. Um... Almost similar to how, like, it kind of reminded me of how, like, the Scarfies work in Kirby. Because you'd think they'll, like, inhale most of the enemies, but those actually, like, go after you and then explode um, when you try to inhale them. So with the Outmaways, it's kind of, like, basically kind of subverting the expectation of how you play a Mario game in a similar way to how the Scarfies were handled in Kirby games, since it just kicks the shell right back at you. So... It's really cool, and they were definitely utilized pretty well in the levels that they're in, and their design is also pretty cute as well. So there are quite a lot of really cool and creative enemies in Super Mario Bros. Wonder, and it's definitely a highlight of the game. So yeah, the next question is, now that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is wrapping up, what are some ideas that you would like to see in the next Mario Kart game? Let me know down in the comments. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. 
and make sure to check out my Discord server and Twitter if you want to. Goodbye.